Hello, my name is Colin Master and this is part 2 of my video. Uh, okay, let's move on to the attack class. In this, we shall look at the last four remaining CPP and then we will shall demo the game. Okay, first off, we have uh, the attack lab. You enter into fight. Uh, you take in a player and an enemy. Is a uh, order N as it does it depend on how long the fight um, is and how long how much health does both um, people have. It enter a dual loop. It, I'll put a menu that asks you whether you want to talk, run away, or fight. From the action, if you type uh, attack, you have a uh, 50, actually a 60 to 40 chance of beating the creature, or he have a 40 to 60 to beat you. So if if it's less than or equal to six, the creature will hit you, and you take damage equal to the creature um, damage place. If you roll uh, lower than 18 and higher than 7, you hit the creature in the attack enemy function, which we'll look down in a minute. And then if you roll a 20 or a 19, that's a critical, and we'll look at that function too. There's also the talk thing, which was supposed to be my, um, sh um, supposed to use the human type in this, but I, I wasn't able to do that depending on the time. Uh, once that, if you got away, got away or managed to talk, or that's the runaway one, uh, pretty much both of these are the same. And I'll put a message saying that you got away or you managed to talk to them. Anything else, you get hit. And I do that while if the enemy is not dead, the player not dead, or you, you didn't get away or talked out of it. And if the enemy is dead or you got away, it returned a true value. Otherwise, return falls, meaning that you're dead. Uh, Boolean run or talk, you pretty much, it's a 50-50 chance that you might get hit or they, that you get away. Critical is you won't hit, kill the creature and then you get experience. And if your experience is greater than the maximum experience, then you get added attack and your uh, XP is improved. If you attack the enemy and you hit the enemy, and if the enemy health is zero, then you return at end dead. And if end dead is true, then you get the same um, reward as above. And there is the com uh, menu thing. Okay, save. Uh, we got pretty much a uh, vector, uh, I stream, O stream, uh, complexity of order C as it uh, return you to the room that you were loaded back into. Okay, here the save function, which is order C as is not long. Uh, it look for the file uh, save place and I'll put it the your username, the health, the strength. The max IP, the XP, the level, and the room number. It input our player and room number. Up here, it uh, input uh, room number and player and inventory and put them into the player thing. Load uh, uh, the game from uh, Christmas. Uh, I had to go back to that because I couldn't fix the uh, my thing. Uh, I went back to once you save, once you come back, everything gone as a punishment for saving. And then read from the save place text every value and put it into the player class and create a new inventory class and then go to get room once you get the value from the file and go to that room. Okay, now we move on to the two probably the most diff uh, two bo most um, hard to understand the parser and the room removal movement and uh, from parse one to five depending on how long you want to spend each of them 
they're both ba they're pretty much basic pass that pass in a player an in inventory and a string value if we were to look at it they're pretty long so that way i like they're pretty much basic um there is an enemy and <coughs> sorry there if you input attack and uh, you will attack the enemy and if you manage to survive you will go on to do uh you can walk to the next place or you can look at your inventory use item uh scavenge is to uh, look around as you can see here it i also had it so it randomized so if it um i did a hard code these thing in as well because i wasn't able to do it in time <clears throat> if sometimes you might get a zombie sometimes you won't or sometimes you won't get anything at all and the inventory you print out the inventory that you have and help it just um show you all the thing you can do and command unable is when you are unable to do thing that we saw uh, earlier and that pretty much the same to all the other parcels okay now room movement is pretty much the same as the parcels like they pretty much whole player inventory uh, it get the choice value uh, which is the room information which is down here which I tried to do but unable with the time that I have seeing how my thing uh, screwed up like five hours ago uh, complexity order C because it just output the uh, information and then I put it into here and then ask you what do you want to do sometimes you will get um, something saying there's an enemy here other time it just in room one and five it does nothing until you go to room five and then move forward to the ending where you have to fight about three zombies and then that should out outro the thing okay now let's look at the game so if i open the game okay here's the game started up so if we type start game we will start uh enter your reasoning we will call that e r and here we have so if I go 17 and then if I go 5, invalid because it's higher than the actual thing. So if I go 7 for health and 8 which is 15, it come out with the uh, story here and rules. And then once you press enter, you enter here. Let's say if I wanted to go health, I can go scavenge, use attack, inventory, save and health again. Uh, go back here. Uh, let's go. Go. We can go. We can do it this way, or we can go. Go forward. And as you can see here, if I press press go, I can just go go forward. And we go forward to the train station. And there's an enemy here, so we might want to attack. And uh, what do I want to? Well, obviously, I want to attack. Yeah, we won't hit kill it, and we got 15 points. Oh, what do we want to do now? Uh, as we can see here, we'll go right. So go east. See, I also changed it so it can take capital or was the top start of the capital or east or right. So now we, uh, oh, there's an enemy here, so we have to attack. Otherwise, actually, you know, yeah, yeah I'll attack first. Attack. Uh, let run. Uh, okay, let's attack to make sure that. Uh, okay, so we got beaten there. So we'll move back to the start again. Okay, so now I'm going to try to show you the save function. So we go 
power attack attack appreciate you you will be oh yeah okay because our health is so low um, we're gonna get beaten a lot so let's say we save here okay and let close it and restart okay now that we restarted the thing now let's go and check load to see if we as you can see we took a nap and we got beaten up so we start back here if I check the text file here uh, as you can see it's EE and we were in room 1 our health was 4 and we gained 15 point from beating the one creature And we still have the attack of eight. Okay, so since that work, I think that's all I need to show you. Uh, once again, I want to apologize for uh, probably not doing a better job at this pro uh, project. Uh, I thank you for listening and watching my final CA, and I hope you all enjoy it. And thank you.